This is a colony of black trail ants. Despite starting off in a tiny test tube with a singular queen, this colony has now expanded to over 50 workers and they now live in their very own nest. This whole saga started on day one. I caught 15 queen ants and housed them in their very own test tube setups. These setups replicate the queen's founding chamber and she'll eventually lay eggs that'll turn into worker ants. After just one day in her new home, the queen had laid her first batch of eggs. A couple of days later, these eggs hatched into tiny larvae which the queen will feed using her nutrients reserves. By day 20, the larvae had developed into pupae, and her first workers started to emerge. The darker the pupae, the closer the worker is to hatching. Meanwhile, I've been feeding them all sorts of foods, like spider legs, fruit flies, and honey. Each and every day, the colony gained a new member. After 30 days, the colony was 15 workers strong. The colony became too hard to feed while living in their test tube, so I transferred them to an outworld. This allowed me to feed them without losing any workers. Eventually, these ants outgrew their outworld and would escape whenever I went to feed them, so I had a plan in mind. At about 30 workers strong, I thought that the colony might appreciate some more nesting space, as well as a more secure foraging area. So I attached a wooden ant nest to an outworld. The colony was placed in and I let them roam free to hopefully discover their new home. 20 minutes in, and the first workers had gone to suss out the new house listed on the market. Before long, the workers started carrying eggs, larvae, and pupae to the new nest. You can really see where they get the name Black Trail Ants from. Brood is being placed primarily in the top left hand chamber. I wonder if the queen will reside here too. Speaking of which, there she is, trying to make a swift escape to her new nest. But her huge abdomen has gotten the better of her and she can't get past this wall of sand. Ants being ants noticed this and immediately got to work demolishing the wall to make way for her majesty. Just like that, a path was made for the queen before she was escorted to the new nest. The next day, a couple of scouts rounded up any leftover brood and reunited it with the rest of the colony. They occupied the top left hand chamber, however the bottom chambers are currently being used as a garbage dump. This is usually a sign that the colony is too small for the nest and it can be a serious issue if the garbage begins to grow mold. But I'm sure this colony will keep on top of their cleaning if they don't start occupying that space anyway. So I'm quite relaxed about it for now. A couple of weeks later and the colony takes up most of the nest. They easily have over 50 workers, if not closer to 100 ants. Here's a worker that's only a couple of hours old Yet, she's been thrown into the deep end to help provide nutrients for the colony. It's great to see them come this far. So, I fed them some chicken, which they shredded beyond belief, before taking it back to the nest. It is pretty dodgy that they're bringing pieces of chicken into the nest. But, as I said earlier, these guys are too smart and I don't think it poses a huge threat as of now. Taking a closer look into the queen's chamber, we can see what looks to be larvae chomping down on some chicken. The ants also use the little passageways as intended, weaving in and out of the chambers. The top right hand chamber is a bit of a weird liminal space at the moment, but we can see that they're slowly expanding and bringing some brood there. Also, check out this oddly smaller worker. Perhaps I didn't feed them sufficiently for a couple of days, and some larvae didn't get as much protein as they should've. 
Can you believe that this colony, with close to 100 workers, started with a singular queen roughly 70 days ago? I hope this video has given you guys a good insight into the fascinating world of ant keeping. If you guys enjoy watching ant colonies progress like this, stick around because I'd love to cover some more species for everyone to watch. Besides that, I hope you enjoyed the video. Catch you guys later. Ant Invasion, out.